In this video, we're looking at the surface area of what we call hemispheres. So we're talking about half a sphere. So if you take a sphere and you cut it in half, and you need to find a surface area, there's two different types of surface area you can find. First of all, you could find the total surface area, which includes this curved surface area, and it includes the top circular portion, right? If we were looking at it, it looked like an orange cut in half. And that would be the total surface area. And that formula is going to be 3 pi times r squared. Um, you are going to have a different formula if you're looking at a curved surface area. So if we just wanted to find this curved area in here, we would just use the formula 2 pi r squared. But let's start out by doing total surface area. So when you get an image like this, and they tell you they want you to find the total surface area of this hemisphere, we're going to go ahead and find our radius, which in this case, notice I have a radius, I don't have a diameter. So right, it just it's that half value right from the middle over to the side of the shape and we're going to go ahead and take that six centimeters which is our radius and just I would label it off to the side and then substitute it into your formula so in other words my TSA is going to be equal to three times pi times my radius which happens to be six squared So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my calculator real quick. We'll see what we get. And so I'm going to do 3 times pi, parentheses, 6, and then I'm going to square it. And notice we end up with 339.292. So I'm going to write that down real quick. 339.292. Point two nine two, and then if we were to round this we wanted to round it we would go ahead and look at our tenths place and I would go to my hundreds and in this case notice that we have a nine so that tells me right five or more raise the score to change this two to a three so my final answer is going to be the total surface area is equal to three hundred and thirty nine point three centimeters squared because we're talking about surface area so it's going to be squared units and that's the answer to this first one so now let's look at a situation where they just asked us to find the curved surface area so they don't want the total surface area but the curved surface area so if that were to occur and when we say curved surface area we're just talking about this part right here so if you just needed that curved surface area, then we would use this formula, um, as I call it CSA, which stands for curved surface area, 2 pi times r squared. So the only difference between this and the other one is we would say CSA is equal to 2 times pi times my radius of 6 squared. So notice it's the same problem, right? The radius is still 6. Um, the only difference in the formula is we just have a 2 instead of a 3. And so I'm going to go ahead and put that in 2 times pi, and in parentheses, 6, and I'm going to square it. And it gives me 226. I'm going to write this number down real quick. So this equals 226.194. Now, when we write our final answer and we approximate it, right, I'm going to go ahead and write this as 226 point, and that 9 right there tells me to turn that 1 into a 2. And then we'll have centimeters squared, because we're dealing with squared units. What would it take, right, to cover this shape with paper, like if it was an object, right, and we're trying to wrap it for a present? So this is my curved surface area, and above is my total surface area, and that's all there is to it.